Starlet. I am coming to you today with a how I do my do tutorial. Today I'm doing an authentic 1940s do that includes a little bit of a wave action in the bang plus some rolls and of course the curly bottom. This hairdo gave me a little bit of a struggle. A little bit. So hopefully watching the process that it took me to make this happen will help you understand that it is a process sometimes and it's not always gonna come out the way you want but if you just listen to your hair and let your hair tell you what it wants to do then you can actually come up with something very chic and authentic. I do not have a name for this hairdo. Um, I should probably come up with one. But by the time I post this, it still won't have a name. So when I get started, as you can see, I have some curl in my hair. This is a few days old. You do not need curl in your hair previous to make this happen. So I have it split from my temple back and parted over to it the side. Because I want a really sharp wave right here before it goes into the pin curl, I'm actually going to manually put that wave in. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna saturate just this part. This is the only part that I want saturated. Everything else will just be lightly damp. Ah, <laughs> it's running down my face. I'm not used to that. So I'm just using some Lotta Body Solution to get that part right by my hairline saturated. To do that, I'm gonna start brushing my hair in the direction I want the wave to start, okay? Then I'm going to use my finger to hold that down while I then take the rest and change the direction of that. You see how it creates that wave right there? So I'm gonna push it over in one direction, hold it down, and comb the rest into the opposite direction. And the reason why I want this part saturated is because it'll keep it in its form better. All right, now to hold this in place while it's drying and while I'm pin curling, I am going to use a standard duck clip to hold that in place. But in order to not get any ridges, I'm using hair tissue that most places use for perming. I'm just going to place that over that line, over that wave, and then I am placing the duck bill right, oops, right over that wave I created. Now you see there's a little bit over here and I want that to stay pristine and sharp. So I am just going to take another duck bill and do it on the other side. But this time I'm not gonna push so far in because where I want this one to hold onto that S, I don't wanna interrupt that wave. Now here comes the fun part. Okay, so I forgot my tools that I normally use and by tools I mean makeup brushes or mascara ones or anything at hand that's about the diameter that I want. And since I'm kind of like blocked in, I blocked myself in and I don't want to move the camera, I am going to grab for something in reach. So let's find out what we have. All right, what I found in reach is a candle. Crafty. So now I'm going to be very careful in sectioning out a portion of that wave. I say very careful because I don't want to pull that wave I just created out. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna brush that through very gently, gently. And now I'm going to attempt to wrap this without pulling out that wave I created already. And I want to do this in the opposite direction that I formed that wave. Then when I get close to the root, I'm just going to attempt to slide this off without it catching, which it did. And then I'm just going to hand roll the rest. 
into place. I am then going to take my pin curl clips and clip that into place. I want to do it from this side because I'm going to be pin curling hair behind this. Same thing. Taking a section. Ugh. There we go. Combing through. Attempting to roll it without twisting it. Now because this candlestick is wrapped in plastic, I am catching it a little bit on the wick when I'm pulling it off. If I had brought my normal stuff, that wouldn't be happening. And I'm sectioning off about an inch or so, just from that section. Now I'm putting in a little bit more than I normally would just because I know I'm going to want this to be setting overnight. So it's going to have more time to dry. However, if you're just going to set it for a little bit by either sitting underneath your bonnet dryer or just air drying, you're probably not going to want it quite as damp. Now this one doesn't have anything from the wave in it, but I still want to do it in that same direction. Okay. Now if it's doing something like this, you see where it's coming up? I usually just throw in another. what I'm going to do next is a row behind it. I'm actually just going to take a row of hair behind this and this is going to the center of my head. Okay. Once again still being careful because I don't want to pull on those um, pin curls and I don't want to pull on that wave. So for this I am just going to roll these in the opposite direction, but just as one big roll. This candlestick is cracking me up. See if this works with just a pin curl. I'm actually sticking it through half. Oh, that made no tutorial direction sense, did it? Because it was very thick there, I couldn't get the whole clip in, so I kind of just like pushed it through half, and the other half is being held by sheer force. Now I'm just going on top of that to hold that down. Because that's what I do. I'm taking the side sections of my hair and I'm going to spray it and then roll it as though I was doing a victory roll, a side victory roll. But this time I'm doing it a little tighter because I want it to curl and not form a victory roll. I mean its purpose is a set, not a style. So I'm rolling it tighter than I would a victory roll. And I'm placing that flat against my head. And same thing. Okay, maybe this will be a better, better example of putting it halfway through like I did this one. So maybe you can see it this time. So see how I'm putting it halfway through that roll to hold it there? I'm gonna take a second clip. Now I'm gonna put that on the top portion. Bam! Just like that. I don't like the way that's coming out here. Alright, so we're doing the third one from the back. 
I'm good at teaching people things. And now I am just going to repeat on the other side. Sound effects are optional. Spritz it. Spritz it and comb it and roll it with a candle. This is like the worst tutorial ever in the history of hair tutorials. But honestly, this is how I do this is how I do my shit. That one was bad. Alright, this is how I do it. I normally am a little bit classier by using a makeup brush or a mascara tube. Anything that's not a candle. This is just gonna form some curls with an upwardly directional force. Direction. I'm just finding any place to put these clips. There we go. Okay, now for the funner and easier part, in my opinion, and that is my perm rods. So first I'm gonna divide what's rest of my hair in two sections this way, and then I divide it in other sections. So I'm gonna take the top section and just twist that out of the way. This bottom section I'm gonna section off into threes. Section one, spritz, brush or comb. perm rod and roll up secure into place and then I'm going to repeat with the last three sections pull that down now like I said I do this section in fours one on either side and two in the middle. And then I just do the same thing, spritz it, brush it, and roll it. And I'm rolling it in an up direction, outer to upper, not under to upper. And you can do whatever size rollers or rolling technique that you prefer. This is my preferred method. I will say though, having previous curl in your hair does make it easier to roll these. I say as I can't get this one rolled. Let's try that again. Now at this point, I am set. I am just setting my hair for the day. Luckily today I already did my errands, so I'm just gonna walk around the house like this. Now if I were to go out again, I have no shame, so I would either go out exactly like this, or I would throw a scarf around it, tie it up, just something to, to cover it. So just to recap, we have the manually formed wave into pin curls, with one pin curl, raised pin curl roll, really tight. And then I have the rolls, the pin rolls, pin curls, pin rolls, the pin rolls going up and then all my rods going up so now we just sit and wait and tomorrow when I do my hair in the morning we will just hope for the best all right it is the next morning as you can see from my set my hair has been mashed around a little bit from sleeping like this so I guess we should just get into figuring out how this hair is gonna turn out. First thing I do is I am going to take out my rollers. Now the reason why I decided to do how I do my do is because I am not, surprise, I am not a professional stylist and I only know how to work on my own hair. So unless your hair texture, length, and everything else happens to be exactly like mine, just use these as a guideline. So I took out all the rollers and then I'm gonna start taking out the pin clips. So pretty. So yeah, this is just a guide. And like I said, because I don't actually know how this is going to turn out, we are going to find out together. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of pulling out that curl. Okay. 
have to be very careful here so that I don't rush this out. So maybe I should put these back in just for now. So I'm just gonna put these back in just for now. Just so that I can keep that in place. Simply just gonna brush this out and brush the sides back. So I'm brushing out each individual pin curl here just to make sure that there's no knots at the end. Now it is really frizzy because I have split ends, bleached hair, and frizzy hair. Now watch this magic. You ready for this? Oh my. I'm just going to brush this back. to shape. And I'm actually going to try to do something with this. form the curls on the end so that they're nice and smooth. They're a little frizzy right now. So what I want to do, I have the Suavecita Argan Silkening Serum. I'm just going to use just a tab because otherwise it will weigh down all my hair. So I don't know if you can oh, see that just a little bit. I'm just going to gently rub that through the ends, just the ends. did work out way better in my head. I'm just going to use the curls, the pin curls I formed to adding some of that Suavecita once again just to smooth in that natural or that original wave I created. You can see it's coming back. Brush that in. Just a dabby dab dab. So what I'm doing now is I'm brushing this back and pushing it forward. Make sure that original that original wave is right in there. See it? I'm gonna go ahead and put the clippy back in. 
until I can then twist this. I was thinking I knew what the hell I was doing. So now I'm going to section off some of this back part because this seems to be what's giving me the problem. I'm going to brush that all the way back. There. There we go. There we go. So it appears as though I just had too much hair. So I'm letting my hair tell me what it wants to do. And right now, wants to curl over and do like this little roll thing. All right, I can work with this. Okay. So in order to make this stay, or attempt to stay, some bobby pins because I have no other choice. And I am going to gently pin this down. Now, I'm going to figure out how my curl wants to curl. My hair is telling me what it wants to do. I'm letting it curl where it wants, which is right here. And now I'm going to gently bobby pin that into place. Maybe. There we go. Okay. So we have something started here. Don't know what, but it's something. Let's start all over. Okay, so now we're gonna try it on this side. There we go, that's a little better. There we go, aha, victory is mine. All right, see, now I got one wave this way, one wave this way, and I'm going to make this work. See, all you have to do is let it tell you where it wants to go, and then you just work with it. Definitely looks better on this side. Ha! Okay. I think I have something happening. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Pin that into place. Do we have something? <gasps> Maybe. Maybe we got something happening here. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this back. Okay, so I think I finally have something started. So I'm gonna take the sides here. And same with this top curl. I'm gonna let the ends of my curls tell me what it wants to do. I do know I want it up here. So this is a good example of how long it takes to figure vintage hair out. Luckily for me, I have nothing to do all day. One of these days I'll get it. See why this isn't a tutorial? Because I'm making this up as I go along. Ah, all right, good enough, I guess. So I can either brush all that back, but I don't wanna do that because I wanna to add to the design that's happening here. And I am going to try to unify, unify? Solidify, unify, correct, I don't know the words, 
this curl area. Let your curls tell you where it wants to go. I am really struggling today. Normally I'm like, it takes me five minutes to do my hair. Don't know why it's not doing that today. It really doesn't like me today. Let's try to get that in super tight. There we go. Ha. Maybe that'll work. Let's hope for the best. All right, we're gonna figure out something to do there. And now with this side, because I want all the curls over here, it's going to be brushed over more, but still held in place with a comb. Jeez, that sounds horrible. To match their hair comb. So I'm brushing it over, but I'm pushing it forward just a little bit to kind of match in with that wave that I started earlier. And then I'm just gonna put in the hair comb right there. And then play with these curls. Let it tell me what it wants. Tell you what I want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. I really, really, really wanna look like I know what I'm doing. Aha! All right, so these ones say that, oh no, that looks okay. They wanna be over here. Yes, they wanna be tucked in nicely right behind that back curl. I'm gonna take another bobby pin, push it through to the back. All right, this was a hot mess. I am a hot mess. So the uniform curls are very beautiful to look at, but my hair apparently does not wanna do that, so I am going with fluffier curls to give my hair a little bit of balance, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. One last pass. So it's probably actually not the right product. I should probably be using a pomade, but I don't know where my pomade is right now. So just a little bit. Ugh, wait, you're over here. Eh. Rub that between my fingers, just gently pat it on top. Take my comb and brush through it in the direction of the wave. So now I'm gonna give it a once over with my favorite hairspray. This is an authentic, ah, maybe. So this is an authentic dumpster fire of a hairdo. There you go, I finally figured it out. Here's the back. So this is the end result of that hair trauma that you just witnessed that very difficult toddler tantrum that my hair was giving. Not me, not me at all, my hair. So I just wanna stress, use this as guidelines. I am not a stylist, as you can see, because I didn't know what I was doing. And take what you can use, throw away the rest. I do hope that if you try, <laughs> try this tutorial, Oh, there are so many hiccups along the way. I don't know if this is something you would try. However, if you find yourself kind of doing what I was doing, if that makes sense, and you end up coming up with a style of your own, please post pictures, tag me in them. I want to see them. I want to see if uh, you had more success, more luck. I want to see if you had more luck than me because this was this was something I really like to hope that this video tutorial may be helpful for you however it wasn't very helpful to me because I didn't know what I was doing but if you did enjoy this surprise hair outcome please like and comment below I am trying to do at least one hair tutorial a month now that's my goal anyway, is to do one hair tutorial a month, then the other three weeks are gonna be full of whatever I want. I don't know. I should just say goodbye now, because now I'm rambling. All right, bye. What's going on here? What is this? What is this? Oh, that sucks.